All right, folks, welcome back to the Coach's Corner Show brought to you by Beggar's Pizza. All right, we have another important segment here with Tom Mulvey, owner and physical therapist of athletic sports and orthopedic physical therapy. Um, all right, Tom, uh, we're going to talk a little bit here, and thanks again for coming well, on board. Thanks for having me. Very informative piece here, folks. Uh, rehabilitation, constantly our, our student athletes are being injured, whether it's in high school, junior high, collegiately, whatever. Um, we're going to talk about an overview, overview of techniques used in rehabilitation and the importance of rehabilitating properly. Right, Tom? Very yes, important. Very important. Um, all right, a patient should have a basic understanding of why different techniques are used to rehabilitate injuries. Again, it's all about education, and it comes to education on rehabilitation. This is your guy right here, Tom Mulvey. So, all right, let's talk about the important points of physical therapy treatment, Tom. Absolutely. Um, you know, Pat, we're in a situation now where insurances are changing, and there's uh, visit limits are going to be in, in, placed upon no matter how good your plan is. Um, it's extremely important that you're aware of who is providing that treatment and, and that they are a licensed physical therapist, that they have experience, and more importantly, that they have the experience in what you um, are being sent there to do. Um, you also have to make sure that the, uh, the care is hands-on. If, if I'm treating an area, um, I'm not putting you in a room, having you do some exercises, throwing some kind of a modality on you, and then just saying, hey, thanks for you know, thanks for coming, and uh, we'll see you next week. I, yeah. mean, I, I need to be able to tell you um, to be able to either show you in model form or to be able to um, also take my hands and show you where I feel pain. And that's important because if, if I'm trying to determine whether it's muscular, ligamentous, or if it's neurologic, um, I should be able to take my hands and show you where the area of pain is and show you how I'm concentrating my treatment in that area. If I can't feel muscle or ligamentous irritation in that area, if it is a neurologic type problem, it's treated differently. Yep. You, you can't treat them all the same way. And, and I think what happens in now, in this day and age of, of um, changes in insurance, that a lot of the hands-on is being lost. Um, and so it's important that uh, as a patient, as patient's parents, that you're aware that this is the kind of care that occurs. Um, make sure that there's a structured home program you know that young athlete needs to have uh, an equity interest in this and yeah. they're, they're given things that they need to do and I tell them if you don't go home you're a grown um, you know high school or or a junior high athlete um, if you really want to get better you have things that you need to do if you don't do them don't waste mom and dad's time and money um, by coming here and not getting better yeah. so make sure that they're involved and that they're going to be dedicated. Um, make sure there's communication between the therapist and the doctor. It's vital. If, if uh, you know, we're looking to have a time frame with which to get that athlete back to being able to, part, to uh, compete, um, we need to be on the same page. Yep. And it's important to, to remind the doctor that that is occurring. So uh, communication between the therapist and the doctor is, is key. And, and know there's a plan. Um, it's not always perfect, but we have a, usually an idea of, of, of an estimated time frame. It's important that my time frame is, is really on the same page as the, as the doctor's time frame yep. because he's really governing the, the, the return. And um, know that that's occurring. Don't just assume that those things are, are there. Um, and you want to make sure that this person is giving exercises that are, number one, doable, and more importantly, that are not making you worse yeah. for the problem that you've come with. Exactly. Uh, what are some of the modalities used for, for treatment, Tom? You know, heat and cold are, are, are very, um, very common uh, modalities used. And there's a usually a little bit of controversy, but I, I, I tend to make it kind of simple. We have explanations of the use for them on our website. Um, you know, cold is usually used as that first aid type um, modality within the first 48 hours. Beyond that, in most cases, you really want to get to heat. You, the, the cold decreases blood flow initially, but ironically, in, in a uh, period of time over, say, about 15 or 20 minutes, it starts to increase blood flow very similar to heat. Yep. You take something cold away and you're pink, that's because you're now getting blood to the area. So that, um, really, the only difference that you get is the time frame with which you get that increased blood flow and also you get more of an analgesic effect with the cold. With heat, we get an area of, uh, of more relaxation, allowing more blood flow to come into the area, 
and we're expediting the heating pro the healing process. Um, we don't want um, hot, just some warmth. We'll also use um, ultrasound, which is, 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 is a form of energy. It's sound wave that excites the uh, cells that within the muscle to make more friction, make them more active. They create a deeper heat. We'll use an electrical stim. It's important to know there are many different types of stim, and they're used for a reason. Muscle stim is used to re-educate and even to strengthen okay. specifically weak areas, whereas um, the interferential current is a type of electrical stim that's very, very effective at relieving pain. Surface EMG is used to help to let the patient see how to use that muscle again. With electrical stim, it really helps them to get a re-education and use of the muscle. Very, very effective. Um, as well as, um, you know, the um, other types of, of uh, things that we have that are, we could use for pain. And how do you know if the therapy is right for you, if an athlete knows it's right? More importantly, that, that you see that there's structure to the program. More importantly, that that therapist convinces you of their knowledge. More importantly, that they're the same therapist every time you come to see them. Right. Um, but most importantly, that, that you're getting better, you feel you're getting better, you're becoming more confident with use of that extremity or that joint that's injured. Confidence is key and that um, you see a, a progressive path to really getting back on the field or getting back to work. Yep. All right, Tom, thank you very much. Thanks man. for having me, Pat. We're going to go to a timeout, folks. We'll be back in a little bit. Stay tuned.